Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Amank in Cloud. In this video, we are going to build a audio converter using Amazon Poly. So the blog or book narrator project leverages AWS services to convert text files such as blog posts, articles, newsletters, etc. into speech. This is particularly useful for creating audio version of written content, making it accessible to a wider range including those who prefers listening over writing. And this is how the project architecture looks like. You have a user or a client, you have a source bucket, and you have a audio processor Lambda function. What happens is when a user or a client submits or uploads a text file into the source bucket, that will be picked by the audio processor Lambda function, and that is going to send that to the Amazon Poly to process the text and convert it to the audio. Once Amazon Poly converts the text to audio, it will be streamed and returned back to a destination bucket. Now you might ask me why are we using two different buckets to keep it simple. You, if you have a single bucket and you, you can create prefixes inside that bucket, you can go with one single bucket. But to keep it simple, I'm going to use two different buckets. One is source bucket and the destination bucket. And after that, you can download the audio file from uh, as an end user and start using it. Okay, so I've also documented this in my GitHub repository as a readme file. The step by step is also there. You can go ahead, follow this repository, start it and fork it, start using it. Uh, the use cases uh, right now might be very simple, but you can build on this and take it to the next level as well. Once you do that, let us know on your LinkedIn or any of your social media tagging us at a monk in cloud, uh, monk in cloud. So the first requirement is to have the AWS account itself. I believe all of the viewers in my channel are having AWS and Azure accounts. So if you do not already, please go ahead, create an AWS account and that's how you learn cloud and DevOps. So considering that you have AWS account, let's go ahead and create two S3 buckets. One is going to be the source and the destination is going to be, uh, the name is given here. So let's go ahead and pick the uh, name of the uh, bucket here. The source name, source bucket name would be amc-poly-source-bucket. hyphen 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 Let me go to my AWS console, search for S3 in the search bar, and I'll click and open it in the new tab. Once it is opened, let's go ahead and create the buckets. So how to create the bucket? Go ahead, click on create bucket. Let's keep it general purpose. Let's give the bucket name as whatever the uh, you know text that we copied. But leave everything else as default and click on create bucket. Once we are done, let's go back to the GitHub, copy the destination S3 bucket as well. Let's create another bucket. Let's follow the same process. Give the name of the S3 bucket, scroll all the way down and click on create bucket. So we have two S3 buckets, one is a destination bucket and the source bucket. So what is the next step? Next step is to create an IAM policy with this name. So you might ask me, why do we need this IAM policy and what is the requirement? As I told you, we are interacting with Lambda and the Amazon poly. This Lambda function requires access to your S3 bucket, your Amazon poly and your destination bucket. So how do we grant access to that? Very simple, you are going to create IAM role for the Lambda function. And that role should have access to your S3 bucket, Amazon Poly, and the destination bucket itself. So that is why we have this IAM policy. If you see here, we are allowing uh, you know S3 get object and S3 put object on these two S3 buckets that we just created. And we are also allowing Poly synthesis, synthesize the speech action on all the resources okay so once you uh, understand this policy go ahead copy the policy name let me go back to my aws console instead of s3 let me search for iam if you have already used it it will be there in the recently used section go ahead and use that as well okay let's go ahead and click on policies here let's click on create policy here 
uh, I'll go and select JSON. Let me copy the JSON body to copy this. Just click on this button and let's, you know, uh, remove all of this content and paste it. Okay. So make sure that there is no errors here. So if there is an error, it will show right here. So for example, let me remove this. It will show fix the syntax errors, right? So let me add that back and it will go away. After you do that, click on next. You, knew, you, need, you need to provide the policy name. I'll copy this. I'll come back and I'll provide the name here. I'll provide the same in the description. If you see here, it is allowing two uh, services of AWS and we are limiting to read and read write for S3. So I'll go ahead and create policy. Okay, once the policy is created, let's paste the same and verify. Yeah, we are good here. Next, let's go ahead and see the step four. The step four is to create the role itself and attach the AWS managed policy as well as the policy that we just created. And what is the AWS managed policy? It is AWS Lambda basic execution role. So if you already have created Lambda functions before, this is going to help your Lambda functions to execute the Lambda function. So we need to add that as well. So what we need to do here, let's go ahead and create a role here. I'll copy the role name as this one. Let me go back. I'll go to roles. I'll click on create role. Uh, it is going to be an AWS service. If possible, select Lambda. Okay. Once you do that, click on next. You need to provide the, the permission or the policy. Uh, if you already have the policy name, just uh, you know copy that policy name with you. Let me go back. Let me search for that policy. I'll add that. Let me remove this. And there is another policy that we need to add that is Lambda basic execution role. Let me copy that, paste it. And this is the first one. Let me select that. Click on next. And I need to provide the name of the uh, role. I'll copy the role name here. I'll come back, paste it here. And I'll leave the description as is. And I need to make sure that it is going to be the service lambda.amazonaws.com. And we need to have these two policies added. And once you have that, click on create role. Once you have that role, just view the role and you should have three policies. One is trust relationship and two is the one that we just added. If you see, this is one and these are two. Okay, that looks good and we have completed step four. So if you are still watching the video and if you're finding this project really helpful, please make, to make sure to subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends so that they are also aware of this project. Next, let's go ahead and create uh, the uh, create and configure the Lambda function itself. So I'm going to name the Lambda function as text to speech function. So let me go back to my AWS console, search for Lambda. I'll go ahead and open it in the new tab. Okay. In my account, there are no functions. Let's go ahead and create function. So we'll just click on create function. We are going to author the function from scratch. Let's keep that. And function name, uh, I'll paste whatever I just copied. And I need to select Python 3.8 because that is what uh, I'm going to use right now. And just, uh, you know, expand this one, change default execution role. We are going to use an existing role or uh, to make it clear, we just created a role for Lambda function and we are going to use the same here. So once you select that, you should be able to see that, you know, role here. If not, just wait for a while and, you know, check later so that it will be there for you. Or you can also click on this refresh once and you will see that. If you see here, AMC Poly Lambda role is right here. I'll just select that and I'll click on create function. So this is going to create the uh, function for us. And the next step is we need to uh, you know, configure the source bucket as the environment variable and the destination uh, bucket as the environment variable again. So how do we do that? So let's go to uh, you know, an environment variable. I'll, I'll just copy the source bucket here. I'll come here, let's go to configuration. And here you need to select environment variables. Just click on edit. 
I'll click on add environment variables and I'll paste this one source bucket and I'll add one more. I'll just copy this again destination bucket and I'll paste it right here. We need to provide the value. Let's go to the S3 console. First, let's grab the uh, you know name of the S3 source bucket. I'll just copy that AMC poly source bucket and I'll also copy the destination bucket and paste it here. Okay, we are good here. Let's click on save. So that completes the step number five. Next, we need to configure the S3 event notification. So let's go to the Lambda function. Let's click on trigger here and we need to select the source. Uh, the source is going to be the S3 bucket. Let's select the S3 bucket and we need to select the bucket name. Make sure to select the source bucket. If you're going to select the destination bucket, then it is going to be a problem for you. Next, I'm going to select all object create events. And if you have a specific, uh, you know, prefix or if you can consider that as a folder, but I do not call that as a folder. It is going to be prefix. If you have a specific prefix, you can enter that. If not, keep it as is. Uh, if we are going to enter or I want the Lambda function to be triggered whenever a text file .txt file is uploaded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a suffix example. Uh, I'm going to use .txt as a suffix. Let's copy that and paste it here. I acknowledge that I know all these terms and I just click on add. Once you do that, the trigger will be automatically added. Okay, that completes our step six. Next, we need to write the Lambda function. So to, do, to keep it simple, what I've done is in the same repository, I have created that function already and I have named it as text to, text to speech function.py. Let's go ahead and open that. First, let's understand what is happening here and then we will proceed to the uh, next steps. Okay, so let me, uh, you know, go through the code one by one. So here I'm importing few things, a uh, few libraries that are really required for the execution of this Lambda function. Like we need to interact with AWS using SDK. I'm the SDK for AWS is Boto3. And we are dealing with JSON documents. So I'm going to import JSON and OS is required and logging is just for, you know, uh, you know, I wanted to check if everything is working fine or not. So I added logging, but if you want to remove that, please, uh, you know, go ahead and do that. And I'm, I'm creating, uh, you know, a, a Lambda handler here and I'm going to interact with S3 and Poly. So I'm going to define that two clients here, Boro3.client S3, Boro3.client Poly. So I'm uh, providing the source bucket and the destination bucket. If you're, um, you know, if you already, uh, you know, went through the previous step, you already know that we created an environment variable in the Lambda function with the name source bucket and the destination bucket. And the OS dot N1 uh, is going to pick those value and, uh, you know, add it in the source underscore bucket and the destination underscore bucket. And the text file key, it is going to go through the records of the S3 buckets once the Lambda function is triggered and it's going to pick the key and uh, it is then going to, you know, name the audio key as whatever the text file that it is going to get. It is going to basically convert .txt into .mp3. Okay. So before doing that, what it needs to do, uh, I have uh, some uh, try block here, try catch. So here, uh, first I'm going to get the text file, which is added, and then I'm going to read through that text. So then I'm sending that to as an input to the poly. And in poly, we have some uh, method called synthesize speech. I'm going to send that here. And here I need to input the text, basically text I got it by going through the text file. So I provide that. And I'm requesting for the output uh, format as MP3. And voice ID I'm using on a, uh, if, you are, if you want to use any other one, choose uh, that, feel free to change that. You just have to go through the poly documentation of AWS and change it, okay? And um, 
let, uh, here we are going to save the uh, audio file to the S3 bucket. If you see here, uh, if the stream is ready, uh, we are going to you know, save that to the S3 dot upload file and the destination bucket is where we are going to upload it. And if it is done, we are going to return that as 200 status 200 else we are going to catch the uh, errors that we are going to get. So this is simple, uh, you know, Lambda function that I have created. I'll just copy this. I'll come to my console, AWS console. I'll go to code and uh, I am going to remove all of this here and I'm going to paste it. All right. So once you do that, I'll just click on control S and I'll deploy this. All right. Uh, we don't have to, you know, click on test. Instead, uh, we can directly go ahead and uh, add the text file into the S source S3 bucket and see how it goes. And I think that is what we have in the step number eight, I believe. Yeah, we are going to uh, test the system now. Okay, so to do that, let me go to the S3 bucket and I'll open a source bucket. If you see here, there are zero files that are there and I'll also show the destination. You, you see, we do not have any files here. So let me go ahead and upload uh, a file inside the source bucket. So I'll click on upload and I'll click on add files. Let me let me scroll all the way down. There should be a file called aws.txt. So I'll just click on open that. Okay, I'll just upload it. Let's wait for a while for it to upload. Okay, so we have uploaded the text file now. So let's go back, let's close this. So the text file is available in the source file. Let's wait until the you know lambda function picks it up process it uh, using a poly and it, then it will place into the destination bucket let me go to the destination bucket if you uh, refresh it it is still under pro progress so we might have to wait for some time and if you want to analyze where uh, the code is right now you can go to monitor and you can open the cloudwatch logs and see what is happening there so once uh, you know you go through these log files, you, you should be able to see where exactly it is failing or what is the issue, right? So let me open the default or uh, the very first logger. And if you see here, this is where uh, it is right now. It, uh, it timed out after two, three dot zero two seconds. And it is sending the text to poly for synthesis, retrieving the text file from the bucket. So these are some print statements that I've added in the code. So you can, um, you know, modify this as, as you want. Okay, let's go back to the destination bucket. Let me refresh it. And there you go. You have aws.mp3. Let me click on that. Let me just download it. Okay, I'll click on download. Okay, let's listen to what is there. Amazon Web Services, AWS, is the world's most comprehensive and broadly adopted cloud, offering over 200 fully featured services from data centers globally. Millions of customers, including the fastest growing startups, largest enterprises, and leading companies. Well, uh, that's it I had for this video and this project. I hope you enjoyed uh, you know, learning along with me. If you're liking the content, please consider subscribing, follow us on all other social media platforms. And if you're trying out this project, make sure to tag us on LinkedIn and all other social media platforms so that we are also aware that you are learning something from our channel. And that's it I had. Thank you. And I will see you in the next one.